This paper by Harvard Business School and the Boston Consulting Group shows that GPT-4 can increase performance even for highly paid consultants. With GPT-4, the consultants completed 12% more tasks. Based on Glassdoor, the average salary is 220 k so GPT-4 could be worth $26,000 per year per employee. But there is a catch. The authors call it the jagged technological frontier. Let's have a look at exactly how they got these data, if the results make any sense, and if we can implement what they learned to boost our own productivity. They took 758 consultants and split them into two separate experiments. In experiment one, they had to complete a task where they expected GPT-4 to help their performance. In the other experiment, they picked a task where GPT-4 will not be helpful and even might generate incorrect answers. In each experiment, they split the consultants into three separate groups. First, the control where they had no GPT-4 whatsoever. Second, GPT-4 with no training. And third, GPT-4 where they provided training on how to use the tool. In the experiment where they expected a positive boost from GPT-4, they had the consultants pretend they work for a footwear company. The list had 18 tasks, which is a lot for five hour experiment. For example, generate ideas for a new shoe aimed at specific market or sport that is underserved. Be creative and give at least 10 ideas. Write a 500 word memo to your boss explaining your findings. They mention in the paper that these tasks are relevant to the real world consultant work and the data are striking. GPT-4 provided a clear performance benefit. I'm not surprised by the results. GPT-4 is great at generating a lot of fluffy text that is reasonable but rarely provides groundbreaking ideas. Due to the time limitation, the output seemed impressive. But if you own a footwear company, I sure hope that you would spend weeks on generating ideas for new shoes since it takes so many resources to bring the new shoe to the market. In the second experiment, they aimed to design a task where consultants would excel but AI would struggle. They gave the consultants an Excel spreadsheet and also some interviews with company insiders. The trick was that the interviews contained crucial insight needed to interpret the Excel data. The key metric was not amount of output but correctness. In this experiment, the consultants using GPT-4 did actually worse. Since they were blindly adopting the AI output without critically examining it. Ethan Mollick, one of the authors, said, People really can go on autopilot when using AI, falling asleep at the wheel and failing to notice AI mistakes. And, like other research, we also found that AI outputs, while of higher quality than that of humans, were also a bit homogeneous and samey in aggregate. And here's the punchline of the paper. The issue with GPT-4 and other large language models is that it's really hard for humans to figure out when AI is correct and when it's hallucinating. The authors call this the jagged technological frontier. The dotted line is what humans would consider to be tasks of similar difficulty. Some of them GPT will crush and on some of them it will fail miserably. You just don't know which one is which. So what can we do about this? To get the most out of chat GPT, we need to learn this jagged frontier. This is nothing new. We did this with other technologies. We learned what a particular software is good for and what it is not. We need to do the same with ChatGPT. The reason why it feels different with ChatGPT is because it sounds so confident in all of its responses. 